Hey everyone, it's time for something new, again. But why are you asking? Because, I don't know, I just like having a bunch of projects that I'm doing at once. Um, so today I'm playing a game that's called Super Mario World Expansion. Now from the name you're probably thinking, you know, oh, it's some kind of crappy vanilla hack, but reality, it's like, it's pretty good. It's not vanilla, it's, well, it's, yeah, it, it's combination. It's It has some vanilla stuff, but, uh... It's mostly chocolate, has custom music, custom graphics, stuff like that. Um, now, I'm not playing this hack uh, by request like I do with uh, most of my hacks, so you're probably wondering, you know, why am I doing that? Um, and the reason is because um, I was originally, I, I signed up to be a beta tester of this game, um, and it was actually the first hack I ever, like, officially beta tested um, on SMW Central, just because I, like, I saw some screenshots of it on... Uh, uh, the hack discussion forums on SMW Central, and uh, you know, it looked like a good hack, and so I wanted to play through it and give it a try. So, unfortunately, I only got through World 5 um, as part of the beta test. So, uh, this, the way I'm going to be playing through this, it's not going to be completely blind for the first couple worlds, but uh, after that, it will be like completely blind because I haven't seen anything after that except for like any screenshots that he showed in the forums, which I don't think that was that many anyway. Um, so, you know, the first first couple worlds, I'm going to know what's, what I'm doing, which, you know, probably disappoints you, but, uh, you know, you're just going to have to deal with it. Um, and, you know, he's probably changed some stuff since the original beta version that I tested anyway, so there may be some new stuff. Um, so let's just get started. I have some more talking to do about this game. Um, yes, I got the mushroom. Sometimes you don't get that. Welcome again to Dinosaur Land. In this strange land, we find that Princess Toad School was kidnapped again by Bowser. I think that's kind of one of the problems with this hack, that, like, he kept a lot of the original messages in, but, like, he changed them just slightly because it says, like, kidnapped again. So he kept them partially, but I think that was kind of one of the reasons that, um, this hack was sort of downvoted on SMW Central. So let's start by going up and see what lies here. What? We can't go in. If you want to enter this pipe, you need to switch the red switch in Yoshi's Island. And yes, there's a side exit. Um, it's, it's, you know, he's better than that. Um, so basically, it starts you out, like, between Worlds 1 and 2, and but forces you to go down to World 1. So, let's give it a start. Yoshi's Island 1. I mean, I think it's a lot of that stuff that, um... It's things like the fact they didn't change the message boxes completely, or the level names are... At least for the first world, they're similar to um, the original game, but uh, I want that message box. And I think that's kind of the reason that um, this hack is downvoted um, a bit. I think it, it, the rating it has on SMW Central is actually pretty low right now, considering I personally think it's a pretty good hack. And, I mean, considering, you know, there are a lot of worse hacks on SMW Central, you know. I mean, even SM said like smw central so much today like smw central tries to pride itself on having like all the greatest hacks but in reality they they host a lot of you know, i'm just getting an email so uh i may fuzz that out if you if you can actually see that okay this is getting a bit annoying this product okay and then i lost my flower but at least he's dead for good i'm trying to hop on the bullet so i can come up here and get the dragon coin i'm not like going for 100 percent. okay email go away hang on I'm really wondering if you can see that in the video, because I don't know if Cam Studio captures stuff like that. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying, that they all disappeared. Um, basically, the reason I'm playing through this hack on YouTube is because it has a low rating on SMW Central, and, you know, it's not featured or anything, and I think it's, like, good. I think it deserves a better rating than it has, and so I'm sort of calling out to my army of subscribers to, like, go on... Now, just to clarify, I'm not, like, asking you to go on SMW Central and rate this hack a 10 just based on my playthrough. I mean, rate rate it what you want. I mean, really, I'd like you to download this hack and play it yourself instead of just watching my, you know, LP of it, because it'll probably take, like, a year, because this thing is, like, almost the length of the original SMW, which is, you know, pretty long. I think. I... I've, I've, I actually forget. I, I assume it is. Um... So it'll take me forever to play through this, so you might want to do it yourself, um, and then you can, like, laugh at me as I'm going through all these levels that you've already seen, I have no idea what to do. Yay, let's cause a lot of slowdown from coins. Let's cause more slowdown. Let's cause even more slowdown. 
hope he has that sprite limit patch installed or whatever. Um, so if I remember, which I probably won't, I will put a link to this hack in the description so you can go and download it and check it out for yourself and, you know, rate it what you think it deserves. If you think it deserves a 10 after either seeing my playthrough or playing it through yourself, you know, rate it a 10. If you think that for whatever strange reason you think it deserves a 1, then rate it a 1. I mean, I... Obviously, I don't want you to do that, but I want you to rate what you think is fair. Like, if I'm calling out to my army of subscribers, I, you know, I have to take the good with the bad. You know, because you can't, uh... You know, I can't order you to just rate stuff for indiscriminately, and... You know, so if I had you... If I told you to rate all the hacks that I played as a 10, you know... All the hacks that I played are, like, awful. Oh, I actually... I didn't realize I could make that jump. Let's see what's in here. Oh, another flower. Yeah, I don't... I forget when uh, the cape comes in. I think it's the start of World 2, which is a lot like the original uh, Super Mario World. Um... Oh, that was close. Um... So, just gonna be fire flowers for the first world. And actually, I... You know, surprising, I really don't remember that much of this. Um... I mean, I'll probably remember random snippets here and there, like, if a level is actually good. Oh yeah, here's, uh, Yoshi. Thank you for asking me again, Mario. See, that's, again, that's another thing. It's like, it says, thank you for asking me again. He did change them slightly, but he, he kept, like, basically the original storyline of Super Mario World. He kept, I mean, a lot of the messages are phrased the same way, and... I mean, that's, that's one thing I don't like. Like, I think this is a good hack. I think it's better than it's rated, but, you know, I... Even I don't think it's perfect. I'm obviously it's far from it. Like the fact that he's using regular SMW music here for whatever reason, I've I kind of mentioned that to him in my beta log. It's like, you know, why why are you using like a combination of some some Mario and or some Super Mario World and some other? Um, but uh, I guess he didn't change that. Um, just to be fair, like he wanted to release it at E3, which is the Super Mario World uh, create or C3, not E3. <laughs> he probably wishes he could release it at E3. Um, a C3, which is the Super Mario World uh, Creativity Convention or Central Creativity Convention or something. Um, but what happened is I like started beta testing this hack like two weeks before that happened, and he wanted to have it released then. So that's why I only got through World Five before he um, released it and. I don't know, I just kind of never got around to... I didn't continue my beta version, because I figured, you know, you probably changed a bunch of things from the, in the final, and I wanted to see that. So I didn't continue the beta, and then I just kind of never got around to playing the final, because, uh... Well, I don't know, I just... There were other hacks I was playing at the time, like, uh... TSRPR and Super Mario Infinity. Actually, that's something funny I thought, that, um... I was first playing, uh, Super Mario Infinity when, um... When I was playing, was I when I was baiting testing this hack? Um, that's when I first started playing Super Mario Infinity for the first time. Um, which, by the way, it's like that is an overrated hack. I do not like that hack at all. The level design is just boring. <laughs> this hack is better than that, and yet that one's featured, and this one's not. Then again, like every like pre two thousand six hack is featured on SMW Central because that's. I, I won't get into my whole rant about old hacks being, like, not having to follow any rules. Like, did you know that Super Mario Infinity 1 had a float, had, like, blatant floating munchers in the la in, like, one of the last levels? I think that's kind of funny how, like, <laughs> it gets away with that, and now it's one of those denied upon... Whoa, didn't know this. Cool, I wonder what's up here. See, it's, it's stuff like this I like playing through the, the hack again to find, because I never knew that this was here, and since I was sort of under a deadline for my beta log, I just kind of had to run through it as fast as I could, which which is probably not good for a beta tester, because, you know, you're supposed to try and break levels and test stuff, and I did actually hilariously break one of his later levels, but I, at least I hope he fixed it, um, I don't know, I, it's like I said, I haven't seen, um, uh, I forgot what I was talking about. Anyway, so this this hack and uh, Super Mario Infinity are actually a lot alike in terms of the patches and the music they use. Um, at least the version of Super Mario Infinity I was playing. Like I know, like if you watch a like an older playthrough of it on YouTube or some video site, like um, like something by Rakko, um, I know it used to have like all Super Mario Bros. Three music, and now it's been changed to uh, to like good music because. 
I I don't know if I've ever mentioned this on my YouTube, but I really hate people using uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 music in hacks, and just because I think it's so overused, because, um, that was brilliant, um, just because, I don't know, I, like, I would never use it, just because that was the only custom music that existed way back when, like, Oh, guys, did I mention I'm playing this hack legitly? Like, no save states? I guess I forgot to mention that in my video. Um, anyway, we're almost at the time limit, so see you in a minute. 